I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Insanity Difficulty Legendary Edition right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. In this episode, we are going to recruit Dossier the Convict, Jack. And I am so excited. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and a bigger shout out to those of you uh, on patreon.com slash missile online uh, without you guys I wouldn't be able to do these so thank you so much and thank you for your patience as we get these videos out so our commander Corey Shepard is now level 12 is a vanguard and is just so beautiful she is just destroying everything she comes across I did put two points into incendiary ammo so now we have that a little bit more 30% weapon damage over three seconds but it also unlocks cryo ammo so that we can unlock that for our squad Anything, anything that you can use for yourself or your squad is going to be super, super helpful. So we recruited Grunt in the last episode, which is awesome. And I'm so excited because we're actually going to be taking him on this, this next little party. But first, I want to look at Dossier, the convict. Jack, no last name known. Why are we recruiting them? Because they have exceptional biotic ability with a criminal background and they're currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. Cerberus has negotiated for the prisoner's release, so this should be fine. We're just going to go get Jack. We already paid for it. Cerberus paid for it, so it should be pretty easy. We're going to leave this area, and we're going to head to the mass relay and go to the system that we need to go to to get the convict, which is over here in the Hourglass Nebula. But before we go to the Hourglass Nebula to recruit the convict, uh, I would recommend actually going back to the Citadel, Omega, anywhere where there's a shop. And it's been a while. We have credits now. It's time that we use those credits and buy everything that we can, because after this mission, we have a lot to do. And it doesn't matter the order of this. Whenever you recruit your fourth character that they give you, because they give you the four dossiers, the Archangel, the Professor, uh, the warlord and the convict whichever one is final after you're done with that fourth you are forced into a certain place and that place can be very difficult so before that i want to head over to the citadel and uh it's time to go shopping baby now to go shopping on the citadel we can pick some characters so i'm actually going to pick characters that we didn't have uh when we were here the first time which really is just garris morden and grunt so let's go ahead and pick morden and garris we're just shopping so it doesn't actually matter but i thought i would just you know say it out loud but we can talk to this keeper here which is actually going to start a conversation with morden fascinating creatures genetic constructs adapted to work in citadel couldn't survive outside unknown purpose wish i could have studied them had other things to do instead indeed indeed well we know another solarian that actually did study them so so i just like to anytime i come to the citadel or omega or any of these like city type places these hubs uh i do like to bring uh new people just so that they can kind of see what's going on in fact yes. with captain bailey you I started we might be able to get a conversation with Garrus. Like in one place. I so one of those things is uh, if you murder. ask Captain Policing Bailey the about the wards and the police work. Sometimes you have to work outside the council's rule book. CSEC has changed. Garrus will mention how CSEC is different than when he was here. But that's pretty much it. We can also talk to Avina. Memetic no engineering. Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers keeps public from panicking if we mention to avina anything about sovereign's attack well our friend uh That's morden now. will now kind of comment on uh why he thinks they're lying but we need to go to the stores and the first place that we're going to go to is upstairs 
So we'll head into this first shop here and see what we can do. We can buy... Oh, yeah, we already have the... I forgot. Uh, we can buy all of this stuff. We have enough credits for it. We should have enough credits for it. Let's go ahead and buy the Umbra Visor, because that's actually pretty good. It increases power damage by 5%. Um, but we're not going to actually use that one. The one that we are going to buy and eventually use is actually the Sentry Interface, because it increases our shield strength by 5%, which is actually incredibly useful um, for for our, our specific builds, because don't forget... We can charge all the time. The stronger our shields are, the basically we'll never get hurt. So we'll also buy this uh, that rifle because we can, or that um, uh, sniper rifle. And we might as well also do sniper rifle damage. Uh, it's 50,000 credits, um, but I think that's, that's worth doing. We don't want to buy too much just yet because we don't have the most credits, and I want to make sure that we can get everything. So we're going to continue on. Um, if we have enough credits, we'll come back and get that heavy pistol. Obviously, use, if you're playing along, use whichever one uh, will get you the best stuff, right? Um, we don't need to go to Dark Star. That ain't, that ain't where you can't buy stuff there. So now that we got the sniper rifle damage, which is better because uh, we are always going to have a sniper on our team for the most part, whether it be Garrus or Zaid or maybe a third person that we'll get later. Um, we'll probably always have a sniper on our on our side, and we want to make sure that they're as powerful as possible. So we'll head into the Citadel store here, where I can buy another fish that I killed. Uh, don't look at me. Stop. Don't look at me. I just need to replace my dead fish. And we'll head down to the last flight that we can go down and make sure we got everything from the stores that we can get right now. Now, if you ask Avina about poverty, Morden will also have something to say. Cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. Sloppy thinking. Society grows by pushing against limitations. There you go. That's all for now. A true for scientist way. Now, remember, we are ignoring this side quest over here until we recruit some other people. So we're going to wait. We're going to wait on that one. Uh, but we do have another store over here that we can go into. The Serta Foundation, where they have nothing. Well, and finally, we have one more that we can go check out. And finally, we can go to the Seronis Applications, which has damage protection squad bonus plus 10% shields, barriers, and armor. It costs 75,000 credits to do that, but it's worth doing, so we're going to pick that one up as well. And I'm actually glad we didn't get the pistol, because the upgrade that I really want to go get is probably going to cost about 50,000. So, we have one more stop. We're going to leave the Citadel, and we're going to head to Omega before we go get the Convict. Now, heading into Omega, we're going to go ahead and choose Garrus and Grunt, actually, to join us. And the reason for that is just because there's some dialogue. The quarantine reports. The plague has been completely eradicated, Shepard. Dr. Really? Solis's assistant has been helping any patients with complications. Perfect. So we're just going to check around and head towards the shop that we need to go to. We don't need to go into Omega right now. In fact, we're going to be coming back to Omega quite a bit. Uh, just because there's, there's a lot more that we'll be able to do here, including some side quests that we haven't actually unlocked yet. So one of the first stores that we can go to on Omega is Haaretz Emporium, and we can just double check here to see what we got. We could get this visor, which increases headshot damage, the capacitator uh, chestplate, which is actually really good. It reduces the delay before your shields start regenerating. We don't really need that, and the only reason we don't really need that is because we're going to be using our um, our charge all the time to reset our, our stuff, so it's not a big deal. This actually doubles the time limit for hacking, which is very, very good. We're not going to worry about that yet. And then, of course, the Terminus Armor, which is actually very good because it increases shields by 15%. And the Black Storm, if we so wanted to buy that. But it's very important that we actually buy something else first. So let's go ahead and check out the Omega Market first, where we can see the Capacitor uh, Helmet, which also reduces to delay before shields start regenerating. We don't really need that. Or the Sniper Rifle Damage for another 50,000, which we could buy right now. Uh, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to head down to Ken's. Ken Salvage, if you remember him. We helped him out, so now we can see what he's got. And he has this right here, the heavy weapon upgrade. Uh, plus 45% heavy weapon ammo capacity for 25,000 credits. Now, the big thing with this is we can buy this. And that is actually going to allow us to get the cane uh, heavy weapon, which is incredibly powerful. 
over uh, on the ship. And then we're going to go ahead and grab this shotgun damage because that is the one that we use the most. That's the one that we are going to want the most of. But we can for sure buy the Black Storm just so that we have it and the Visor just so that we have it. Perfect. We'll deal with getting everything else later. But there's also dialogue that we can get with Grunt while we're here. So let's go ahead and get that before we jump into the Convict stuff. So we want to head into the lower area here. We can see Fist is here. Who, who cares, you know? We have the Dancer. And then we'll have the option to talk to Grunt as well over at the bar here. So let's get some Grunt dialogue. Yeah, I didn't think aliens could live like this. Tricks, fights, noise. These people think they're Krogan. <laughs> but don't worry. We're going to be back. Now that we have Grunt, there's a really cool side quest that we're going to be able to do here. You could do it at any time, but it's going to be even better when we have our boy Grunt as uh, as part of that. So, let's head out of Omega into the Convict mission. But first, before we do all that, we need to actually get the stuff that we just upgraded. Let's go spend all of our stuff. We can do AP sniper rifle increases damage by 50% against armor. Improved sniper rifles for entire squad. You love to see it. Uh, and then we also have, I thought I just bought shotgun shit, but I guess not. And prototypes, we can go ahead and buy the new heavy weapon, the M920 cane, which is incredibly, incredibly strong. 25,000 iridium for that, which we have plenty of. So we just got one of the best heavy weapons in the game. Uh, there's one that we'll be getting later on, uh, probably in the next episode, actually, that is probably arguably better. But the cane sure is cool. So, to the convict. And as always, it is time to scan a scan. And I highly recommend checking out Aaron Lee, which is right next to the ship that we need to go to because element zero, baby. And with all the scanning done, that means that we need to go to the prison ship Purgatory, which I think actually will be 100%. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure it was 100% of this system. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company, the Purgatory was once an ARC ship used to hold agricultural animals. Now it's used to hold prisoners, whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing. Rumors abound that the Blue Suns turn skilled or fit prisoners over to Batarian slavers. Its population is listed, but of independent journalists estimate is nearly three times that in periods of overcrowding. So, my friends, it is time for us to land on the prison ship Purgatory. We're gonna go ahead and dock and pick a squad, and I have the best squad in mind, which is, you guessed it, Miranda. Oddly enough, although we're going to keep her in her normal outfit because I think it just looks better. We're bringing Miranda because she has overload and warp, but that doesn't matter. Even though it's insanely difficulty, it's actually because she has some of the best uh, story stuff. Honestly, she is definitely, definitely like the best um, for what we're about to do. But also, I would also argue that Grunt is going to be the other person that we're going to want to bring. Because one, we just got him uh, in the last episode. So we want to bring him on a mission right away. And two, he has some really great dialogue on this mission. So Grunt's going to join us as well. That is going to be our party. We got uh, Miranda and Grunt. And right away, for Grunt, we need to put some skills in. The first points that we're going to put into this are going to be into concussive shot just so that he can knock things down if they get a little too hairy. We could go ahead and open up um, his incendiary ammo as well, just allowing us to have it. Uh, but I don't really think that's a too big of a deal right now. Instead, I think we I would rather go for Krogan Berserker, uh, which is just going to make him a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And from Krogan Berserker, we're actually going to go and put his points into uh, Krogan, uh, Warlord, which is actually going to make his weapon damage and health a little bit more. He's get, he gets less, um, health regeneration, but honestly, it's not going to matter on insanity. Pure blood is fine, but 10%, 10% damage and 15 health per second 
it's it's just not going to matter. So instead, we're going to go Krogan Warlord. He's going to be... It's going to be awesome. He's going to be really good. Um, we can't do a fortification yet because he's not loyal, but fortification is actually very, very good as well, making him one of the best tanks in the entire game. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to put a point into Incendiary just so that he has access to that. And then he is... Uh, he has the Geth Plasma shotgun, which is actually what he's going to keep, as well as the Collector Assault Rifle, which is uh, perfect for us, actually. All right, landing on Purgatory. Let's do it. Now, if you ask me, I don't think this place is going to be that happy that we're here. It looks like maybe, they, maybe they'll be fine, but... I don't know. I don't trust them. Again, we're here to find the convict Jack. So we have a prison guard right here waiting for us. Let's Welcome go ahead and to talk the to him. Welcome to Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. As this is a high security vessel, you need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. <laughs> no. I can't do that. Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kiron, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. Yeah, I'll uh, keep my weapons. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Okay. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the funds clear, you can be on your way. If you'll follow me to outprocessing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Yeah, so far, <clears throat> there's a little bit of tension going on here. Uh, but I think we'll be fine. Cell block two. As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Uh -huh. I feel like something. Each prisoner's cell is a self contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. So we if can they put ever the get whole out. place in lockdown on a moment's notice. Nothing goes wrong here. Why are you telling me all this? Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Good. How'd you end up running this ship? I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got sick of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. So, Garrus would actually have something to say to this, basically saying, that, yeah, that's a good idea. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day, I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. Maintaining a population this size in space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. So it's an extortion racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. Let's get on with yeah. this. I bet people try pretty hard to get out. We're in space. They have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. <laughs> We have many ways to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds from Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Just keep going past the interrogation rooms and the Supermax wing. I'll catch up with you later, Shepard. I get the feeling that that guy does not like us, all right? And I, you know, I don't... I don't really know if I blame him. We are buying a prisoner. But hey, it's Cerberus, and they have so much money. Also, I want those, like, biotic bubbles that came up. Batarian. 
But we have to keep going. Talk to this prison guard if we want. Oh. Let him die on his feet. Oh, man. Jeez. Is there something I can do for you? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. Mm hmm. This degrades you as much as him. Mm -hmm. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. For some free Paragon points, baby. Well. Your package will be at out processing just down the hall. Okay. Bye, guys. I'm, like, in this. That was weird. Okay, goodbye. Hey. Hey, guys, over here. Let me ask you something. That, my friends, is Yuri Lowenthal. I don't know how to say his name, but it's him. That's the voice actor. You're buying prisoners. Can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. We're here for Jack. Jack? Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. You don't like Jack? Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw. Mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That's all I'm saying. Well, this will be fun. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. Uh. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. He offed someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot to the warden. Yeah, sucks to be Bimmy right now. They're going at it pretty hard. Did they ever kill prisoners by accident? I haven't heard of anyone dying. Warden can't make money off us if we're dead. Funny thing, though. The more a guard does it, the meaner he gets. So they rotate him through. Oh, that's forked up. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Um, I don't... Yeah, okay. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, your clothes, your pride. I haven't taken a shower in three months. Yeah, I can tell. I should go. Wish I could go. Okay, bye. Prisoner 403. I hear the screaming in my head. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, anywho, we'll just go and wait for Jack's stuff to clear so we can go on ahead. Uh, we have to go that way to out processing, but maybe we can go check out what's over here. See if this guard will talk to us a little bit. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. Yeah, I They'll thought bring so. Your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Great. So let's check real quick just to show. I realized I didn't show what Miranda was at for her stuff, but she has Overload, Warp, and Cerberus Officer are all going. Uh, when she gets over to maxing out her Cerberus Officer, we're actually going to give her Cerberus Leader. Uh, obviously, increasing her Overload and her Warp is going to be very good. Area Overload is going to be what we're going to do, and probably uh, Unstable Warp as well are going to be the best options for Miranda. If you get to that point... It is worth getting that maxed out thing out as quickly as possible. through the door on the far side of the room. This is out processing. There's blood on the ground over here. There's... Okay. I feel like there's a lot of cover in this room. I'm guessing we're going to have to brawl our way out of here. Interesting. Maybe there's going to be a prison break? We're going to have to... My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the rest. Activate systems. Uh-oh. Well, let's get into position and get ready to fight. I took two renegade actions for what? I didn't do shit. Anyways, we're going to go ahead right away, and we are going to hit this guy with an overload from Miranda. And uh, hopefully up, up, bam! Cool. Actually, you know what? We're going to charge here. 
and then we'll get back into cover here and let's go ahead and wait for this charge we're gonna hope that our buddy here can uh potentially do some damage we're gonna uh overload and charge it again get that centurion out of here and we'll go ahead and shotgun him as he flies wait for this guy and uh charge him as well and duck reload go ahead and do this legionnaire and charge now it is totally possible we're actually going to need to back up need to get jack out of the ice and this Fenris mech unfortunately needs to be warped and then charged oh, okay and then hopefully blown up Worthless. perfect thanks guys on our left remember you want to back up because they do explode oh jeez what just happened what hello who am i what <laughs> that was so weird oh uh, it charged and somebody else killed it at the same time probably uh our krogan friend there because he does have the geth shotgun as well and we're just gonna go ahead and hopefully do a big overload here which is gonna hit multiple and boom and then we'll go ahead and charge back up after we knocked him out and uh hopefully this wasn't this wasn't my best choice that's all right we can charge and let's go ahead and cuss him just so that he's stunned good go ahead and hide here for just a second and then we can go ahead and charge get our shields back knock both of these guys out move on to the next one let's go ahead and melee him there we go perfect so we can't actually go back the way that we came just want to point that out if we were to go back here this door's just shut we can't go so that's where the normandy is so i guess uh we're gonna go to uh max security wing where jack is on ice we need to get jack out Shepherd is on the loose. are you kidding what are you gonna do guy get out of town you know what i mean like what are you doing technician go ahead and get this refined element zero in the back and open this up for 100 credits we can't use that door but we can use this purgatory security controls let's go ahead and get jack out of ice if we hack that control every door on the cell block opens how else are we gonna get jack out i'm doing it be ready Jack Let's is go. amazing and just destroyed a what three Ymir mechs? What the fuck, man? I can't even kill one. All right, let's go. We gotta go. Uh, we might have just did something wrong. Warning! Warning! Uh oh. Sounds like heavy fire. I'd say. Go ahead and open this. Watch out for the Ymir mechs. Oh, never mind. They're all dead. Oh. Okay. Well, that's where Jack was. How the fuck? Look at them all. They're all dead. You guys got anything I can scan? Oh, yeah, I'll you take do. It. Damage protection. I'll take all the research I can get. We need it all. Thank all you so much. Restore order. Lethal force authorized. But don't kill Jack. Text lockdown. Lockdown. Grab those heavy cells as well. And then we have a dead prison guard over here that we can go ahead and access for 1,500 Sector credits. Seven, nine, and 11 have lost life support. You know, no I think Jack is uh, maybe doing some stuff. Anyways, we're going to go in and then be super careful here because we have more guards that you can see over on the side there. They're actually fighting. The prisoners are out now. They're, they've broken out, and they're actually fighting the guards as well. So what we can do is we can actually just kind of chill. And uh, Miranda, don't, don't do anything. I want you over there. And Miranda can actually just kind of chill and hopefully kill some of these guards. The prisoners actually won't really turn on you. 
We'll go ahead and warp that. Fortunately, I think that missed. But we're gonna what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to help these prisoners out. These are just your normal prisoners. There's that Ymir mech at the end. We'll go ahead and hit this guy. Concussive shot him. And maybe we can warp as well. Just to take him out. The human prisoners actually do turn on us. Uh, but we're not going to worry about that because they're going to be focusing on this Ymir mech here. And we're going to hit with the shotgun. Wait for some stuff to come back. Watch the rockets. It's just one Ymir mech. We've handled this before. Go ahead and charge up this again. Charge. And we can be a little spicy here if we choose to be. Uh, which we're going to wait just a little bit while we take this down. Now we could pop our shields and take this thing out. But I'm going to wait until, or uh, pop our charge, I mean. I'm going to wait until she can attack, which she can now. Then we're going to charge this thing. Fortunately, I got stuck on the wall there. We're going to wait. And then we're going to charge. Fortunately, it's not letting me charge on it for some reason. Uh, that's weird. Well, that's never happened before. Okay, there we go. Charge, get shields back. We're gonna go ahead and get back and warp. This is a way to cheese him. Ow. Now, unfortunately, this is broken. Uh, and I don't know why. But, there we go. <laughs> For some reason, that that's just straight up broke when we were trying to fight the Ymir oh, mech. And I, I don't know why. I've never seen that happen. Uh, the targeting, I guess it just bugged out. <laughs> like in Mass Effect 1, remember when it bugged out and I couldn't hit? You guys remember the worst days of my life. Anyways, you can see the damage that Jack has done in this place just absolutely destroyed it. We did help the prisoners by taking out the troops. The prisoners, I thought they wouldn't turn. I thought they don't turn on us, but uh, apparently they do. Um, but that's fine because we were able to take out the troopers and the, the prisoners were kind of like, you know... There to get shot at. And there we go. We ended up just getting a shotgun damage upgrade that we can do when we get back to the Normandy. This guy's dead. And right over here, we can hack a PDA. Looking for some. Whoop. Right here. Perfect. And then we need this one here. And looking for this one here. Great. 4,500 credits. You'll love to see it. Absolutely love to see it. Okay. Moving on. That's all that we can get in this room, but that's a lot. 4,500 credits. We got the upgrades. I mean, that's pretty good. We actually need this ammo here, too. So once we open this door, we'll be able to grab the stuff inside, including a med kit, some heavy weapon ammo, and 4,500 credits. As soon as we come out here, though, we are going to have a little bit of a journey on our hands here. We're going to be dealing with a, a Centurion, or a Legionnaire, and um, a bunch of troopers as well, which is always a good time. We're actually going to go ahead and see if we can kill these ones across here. Now, there is a Ymir mech that's actually at the very end of this room. And if you charge over there right now, you're actually going to have to deal with the Ymir mech activating. If I was to charge this guy that's up on the platform, it counts as me going over there. It counts as me crossing that bridge that you can see. If you don't cross that bridge, it doesn't activate. So we want to take out these guys first in whatever waves we can. Go ahead and charge, get our shields back, and hopefully finish off this Legionnaire. Unfortunately, I do. There we go. And I'm waiting to charge. Apparently, I don't have... I thought there was another trooper over here. Where is this guy? Oh, all the way over there. Huh? Right. Okay. So we'll go ahead. We'll overload this guy. And we're kind of going to hang out over here as long as we can. I'm here. We can, we can charge this guy. Get our shields back. And hopefully be able to take this guy down with a bat overload. And then back into cover before we die horribly. 
and warp this guy. Now we're not going to be able to charge this guy just yet. I'm going to wait for his shields to go. Should be soon. Now we'll charge, get our shields back. And you can see that the Vanguard is starting, is really starting to come online. Not yet. That Ymir mech is over back there. Luckily, it hasn't activated, which is exactly what we want. We do not want that thing to activate. Not yet, anyways. We're actually going to go ahead and... I can't charge yet, because if I do... If I charge, I'm going to be in the position of activating the Ymir mech, and I don't want that. So we need to be a little bit more careful here. I'm going to go ahead and warp this guy. Should do some damage. That warp's still not really high enough to kill anything. This concussive shot Enemy. might hit. Perfect. We have more enemies coming, but the good news is that the Ymir mech is still not active. So we're, we're doing okay there. We're actually going to go ahead and start charging this. Hit this guy as it goes. You can see that there is another... Uh, Legionnaire at the other side there. Finishing off this guy. And that guy as well. Perfect. Now, Miranda, moving forward, is probably going to activate the... Oh, it actually did not. If she hits the Ymir mech, it will activate him. So, we're going to take out whatever we can here without it activating. I'm going to save that so we don't accidentally hit the Ymir mech. She'll warp. Enemy down. Killing that guy. Now, this isn't really the place I'd like to be. Now, we're going to activate the Ymir mech on purpose here. This will just kind of allow us to hopefully watch out. Hit this guy, the Centurion that's here. We'll overload. Right behind you. Still waiting to kill him. We're actually going to retreat now. Right. You bet. Right. All the way back here. On my way. Moving to cover. And there should be. If we put these guys over here so that they don't Taking die. Cover. We should be just fine. I'll be there. But if we retreat back here, the Ymir mech actually won't be able to get up here. And even better than that, the uh the troopers and these these soldiers and stuff won't chase us either. So But like I said, I mean, you can definitely, we can overload. And then what we'll do is we'll actually charge here just to get our shields back. We can put some damage into him as well and then just kind of back up. I would like to be able to charge. We'll wait for our shields to come back, pop this, and then we can, perfect. We're actually going to use this pillar here. Like I said, the Ymir mech can't really do much. As long as we're careful not to get attacked by anything else, we can kind of start laying into him. Wait for our shields. You can actually concussive shot him as well. Yeah, just kind of... Well, just won't stun, but... We'll go ahead and warp. Right Can't reach the target. We're actually going to charge, get our shields back. And then we can pop in right here for cover. Can't get a lock. Now, unfortunately, we don't have anything that has, like, incendiary. But, like, if we have Morden right now, we'd be doing a ton of damage to him. Now, we need to watch out for the other troops that are here as well. And then we're going to back up just a bit. Perfect. Be right there. So we're going to call those guys out of cover just a bit, just so that Grunt can start doing some damage. Ymir mech down. So now all we need to deal with is the troops that are at the very end of this. So we had to take that a little bit slower, uh, but safer. So we're going to come this way, and we're actually going to start dealing with these guys. Hopefully be able to take care, care of most of these. There is this trooper, the Centurion as well, so we're actually going to go ahead and warp him and concussive shot him just so that he stops being a pain in the butt. 
And then we can actually charge this guy. Perfect. And then we have another Centurion here. About to get our overloads. Perfect. And then we're actually going to equip this. And uh, this guy's not shooting at us, and I don't really know why. So we'll just go ahead and charge. Charge for max health, or our health back, I should say. Concussive this shot. Concussive this shot? You know what I mean. We're chomping through these guys. As soon as I can, we'll charge over here. Finish this guy off. That was really bad. Really bad aim with my shotgun. This entire fight sequence here. Um, now, if you had full heavy ammo, you can actually use your heavy ammo and then go back and you don't have to use that ammo right away. You can actually wait and then and then do it. Like go back, the heavy ammo that was in that little section right before this room, you can actually go back and get it. Um, it's not gone. So anyways, now that we're done with that, we want to continue on and get that 1500 credits. And then here we can grab another uh, med station, more power cells, which is fine, and a wall safe, which will be easy to get because it's just one of these. Luckily, these are the easy ones, you know? For 3,000 credits, you'll love to see it. Now, I recommend grabbing everything that you can because you do not get to come back here and saving before using this door because you are in for a treat. Go ahead and open this door and get ready for yet another fight. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. This is for the good of the galaxy. And as soon as we start, you'll notice that there's going to be these shield generators that are going to pop up. These actually have health bars, but you don't need to worry about the health bars as long as you hit it with a power. And so something like a shockwave or, or anything like that will actually shut it down. So we'll go ahead and we'll take down these three mercs. And we'll go ahead and charge this guy. Get full health back. And actually what we'll do here is I will go ahead and use uh, warp on this shield generator, which will actually just take that out entirely. And then what we want to do is there's going to be more that are going to be coming out here. But if you're really, really fast, you can actually knock all of these shield generators out very, very quickly. Um, and then that will start a cutscene, and it will you will basically be able to take out the warden pretty quickly, which is what we were just able to do. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get that up and then hopefully Can't get a lock. fortunately I'm not able to get a charge up ah. overload him again I charge this guy here and then we'll use this for cover my hope is that we'll be able to charge him which we're not able to do yet we can't yeah. go custom shot this right guy and then just take him out can't target them Fortunately, we did lose Grunt. Wait for this guy to pop. Can't get a lock. See if we can hopefully do some more damage. All that's left on him is armor, but our uh, our team can't is dead. So we do have a bunch of advancing guys, and unfortunately, we cannot charge up there, which is really, really unfortunate. Can't target them. But we'll wait if these if this guy decides to move over, uh, we'll be able to charge and get our shields back. Health is almost gone. Now you could do this way way safer and slower. Um, we were able to do it by pretty much ab not abusing, but Can't reach the really wish I could hit up get up there. I mean he's almost dead. There we go. Warden down, baby. Now you can take on waves of enemies or do it the way I did. Stop! Sir, 
Cerberus. What the hell do you want? I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? You're in a bad situation, and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. I love her so much. Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curel figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. She's destroyed Cerberus property and killed Cerberus people. Hence the bounty. You die first. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Shepard is good at this. Pay attention. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? The ship is going down in flames. We can get you to safety, and we're asking for your help. We could just knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. We're not going to attack her. Good move. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. You want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. I'll give you full access. Shepard, you're not authorized to do that. Oh, it upsets the cheerleader. Even better. You better be straight up with me. So why the hell are we standing here? Move out. And that's why you take Miranda with you. And Grunt. Although, Grunt is supposed to make all of these lines while you're on that mission about like, Oh, I love how much destruction she's causing. And like, you know, you know, uh, Krogan stuff. And I didn't notice it. I actually didn't. I didn't notice it. Warning. Ooh, I want to see how long she can last. Guard got swarmed by prisoners with improvised weapons. He never had a chance. Shows you lockdown in blocks four, seven, and eight. Anyways, we hit level 13. Recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. We got the damage uh, protection upgrade. Squad bonus plus 10% to shields, barriers, and armor. Amazing. We got the shotgun damage upgrade. Increases our shotgun damage by 10%, which is really good when you use a shotgun all the time. We got 30,000 credits and 500 element zero. It's also too bad because and during this mission, Grunt also says when, when Jack doesn't want to join us, uh, Grunt says something about... Um, Working out too well for him. I'm offering to be your friend. They have a way of dying. You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me the away The ship is going down. Just shoot her and patch her up on the ship. I'd like to see you try. And we get the trophy, the convict, for, uh, for bringing Jack onto our team. One of the most powerful human biotics has ever existed. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On the ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. Yeah, give her the files. Miranda will let you into the system. Let me know what you find. Hear that, Precious? We're going to be friends. You, me, and every embarrassing little secret. I'll be reading down in the hold, or somewhere near the bottom. I don't like a lot of through traffic. Keep your people off me. Better that way. It's worth it. It's worth it. Anyways, let's go ahead and open this. And uh, we did get new upgrades, which means, first of all, that's the first thing we're going to do is upgrade our shotgun damage, which is just the best. Anytime you can do that, you just do it. Uh, damage protection is going to help increase our uh, resistance. And uh, that's it. That's all we were able to get from that. But she's going to have some upgrades for us herself, I'm sure. Morden! How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, better. Think I've cured Joker's condition. Simple treatment would... No, 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 no. Would cause liver failure. Never mind. Start from scratch. Could you... Anything else? 
That'd be so cool if you could help him. Are there any medical Listen, concern wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander? Yeah, we're not doing that just yet. Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. What do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. I'll do my best not to piss her off. What? Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Uh, Is there anything nothing else? Nothing right now. Me? Let's chat. I always have time for you, Commander. All right, you're good. Okay. So who Maybe cares we'll if all she wants to do if she's just is, is sex is casual, you know? Who cares? All right, Joker. He's gonna have something good to say about Jack joining us. I can feel it. Joker, you better come on, man. Don't let me down. Give me something good here, dude. Okay, Shepard. Glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. Yeah. I assume everything's good for going now. On. Fractured my phone. And what do you have to say about the grunt? About the people well, about up. I would never say anything again. Grunt is not a stabilizing element, Commander. It's just my opinion. Though. Yeah, Would I don't think so. Actually, it, I think that he is stable. I think Grunt's great. I love Grunt. Big fan of Grunt. Uh, we'll probably never really use him on our team, to be honest with you. He's, he's not that. He's just he's you know he's a cool ass Krogan, but he's actually there's just. Because of squad abilities and because we're a vanguard, we don't necessarily need another tank, another vanguard, you know? Uh, but anyways, we are going to go check down and check with um, with the cruise quarters. Garrus, Miranda, see what uh, see what's going on there. Kasumi might have something to say now that Jack has joined us as well, so maybe we'll go and see her first. Well, believe it or not, no one had anything to say there, so let's head down to engineering. Maybe Zaid or Grunt or Jack herself might have something to say to us. Jack will definitely have something to say to us because it's Jack and um, it's a new party member, so there's certain things that will be there. Shepard, I was just waxing goddamn nostalgic. Oh, okay. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Yeah. I was shadowing this rookie on an infiltration run to an eclipse base on Tatus. Good kid, but he had no business handling a rifle. In the shuttle on the way down, he puked in his helmet. We hit some turbulence, and with all the crap sloshing around, he thought he'd been shot in the head. <laughs> Went back to the Alliance. Here he's a governor now. I wonder who. I should let you go. All right. Talk more later, Shepard. Titus, huh? Anyways, we're gonna head downstairs and uh, this is actually where Jack is. And I think we've showed this area before, but now there's actually Jack. So she's hanging out down here. Hey. What do you got for upgrades? Picked up a lot of resources. Can you use them to help against the collectors? She sure I can. ran across the schematics for making L5X implants. Still got them in my head. You wanna know what I need? Not usually my thing, but I've learned how to get things done on my own. Cool. So, prototypes, we now have Subject Zero Biotic Boost. Jack gets plus 20% biotic damage. Hell yeah. Some Element Zero caught? Easy. Let's go ahead and do that. Hey. Let's ask her about Miranda, Miranda and Jacob. Miranda and Jacob. Jacob doesn't know who he is, but that's not my problem. Miranda's a Cerberus bitch. Knew that before she opened her mouth. Mm-hmm. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. Okay. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. If they're helping you, that's good enough for me. Don't be my buddy. You need me to kill for you, I need you for these files. Let's leave it there. Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I know. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. Huh. What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy's gonna be a lot emptier when I'm done. I won't let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. After that, what I do is my business. All right. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Been on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. 
But soon, I'm gonna chase them. You think about this a lot, don't you? I go to sleep with this. I wake up with it. Everyone I kill, I pretend it's the ones that did this to me. Mm. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate, live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for piracy. Whoa, 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 when let's talk done, about this. We'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. All right. I should go. I guess it yep. makes sense. It's very squid gamey. We got some Paragon points. Hey, tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come Jack's done talking. Yep. I'm done talking. I don't want to piss her off. Let's go. So we got the upgrade. We learned a little bit about Jack in that uh, she was raised in a Cerberus research facility. So she's obviously probably not the happiest about that. Did you know we've got a crazy woman squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. I doubt that. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh, maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. And she's a murderer. Has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink. Hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. <laughs> oh, it's so good. All right, let's go check out our friend over here in Port Cargo. Maybe Grunt, maybe Grunt uh, enjoyed his last mission. Shepard. Just checking in. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from huh. the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Ooh. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. I love you, grunts. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak, pitiful. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. I think you will, Grunt. I think you will. Shepard. Just checking in. The humans talk to So much. that's going to be. Like uh, I mean, he's that's kind of giving us a hint at what his loyalty mission is going to be. They've all kind of given us a hint at what their loyalty mission is going to be. Jack, uh, obviously, something with Cerberus and like wanting to find the people that did everything to her. You have you have Grunt and his uh, needing a reason to care. Um, the only people we don't really know about is Jacob and Miranda and um, Morden, I guess, and and Garrus, really. So everybody else on our team. That's what I'm saying. If we go ahead and look at our journal now, we'll see Dossier the Convict. Jack has reluctantly joined the team, which kind of leaves us there. Unfortunately, it's too bad, but I didn't really notice a lot of Grunt's actions, uh, uh, dialogue. I know that he said, oh, Jack's small. Um, but normally, he's, like, running around the place and, like, laughing, and I didn't notice. But maybe it's just because I was so engrossed and I can find out in editing. But in the next episode, we will deal with the first uh, real mandatory mission since Freedom's Horizon. I mean, all of this is, but there was um, Freedom's Progress, I should say. 
where we went at the very beginning and we saw Tally, and that was the kind of the elusive man's first mission for us. The elusive man is about to get us, give us our, our second, like, you have to go here. So we've recruited everybody. We have nothing else that we can do right now. We've we've got a full carton of of teammates. The only thing that we have left in our journal right now is uh, stop the collectors. Cerberus is determined an alien race called the collectors is attacking human colonies. They're assembling a team to stop this threat. He's about to tell us that there's a colony that's being attacked right now and we can make it. And we get to come face to face with collectors very first time in the next episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, a huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres and a bigger shout out to those of you on patreon.com slash missile online. Uh, without your guys' support, I wouldn't be able to do this full time. So thank you guys very much and I will see you in the next episode. Remember, never give up, never surrender to purgatory, the, the, the prison. Makes sense.